Hey, you know the fuck going on? It's Black Sad. I'm going to the dance with Mass Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> my name mean um shit it don't really mean nothing it was just like okay so the story is my my little brother played for a football team and like we drove we were driving out to laughlin nevada and i like was really into raider clan and like space coast perp at that time like i was like listening to, like don't get your head bust every day like that whole whatever was that shit black line radio 666 whatever that shit i was like listening to that shit like every day and like, um, so I was into that hieroglyphic writing. And like, I seen some like black gravel on the side of the road. And I was like, oh, black sand. But like, I was like, instead of writing it like B-L-A-C-K-S-A-N-D, it's gonna be B-L-V-C-S-V-N-D. Cause like, I wanted to write with the hieroglyphics, you know what I mean? So I look, look cooler or whatever. And like, I like was like, okay, black sand, that's my name. So I like, when I'll go to school, I write that shit everywhere. Like black sand, black sand with the V's. And the C's and like I'll write shit like in the hieroglyphics with the X's and the whatever the X's as E's and the X's as O's and like the sh like the shit and they they use as that the V's as U's and the A's you know what I mean all that hieroglyphic shit that used to be popping like in 2013 when everybody wanted to be a Raider clown like, I wanted to be in that I wanted to be that shit like I thought Spisco's Purple was the sickest person ever because he was like brought something different to the table and I was kind of on the same shit that he was on like that dark. That dark shit, like I like dark shit, like whatever, like black metal and like all the dark serial killer. I like weird shit like that. So like I was on that that whole wave, and then um, I just saw that and I was like, okay, black sand. And then because my brother told me he was like, you gonna need a name, cause that's like when I started wanting to drop shit on SoundCloud, like in like early 2013. I was like, okay, I want to start dropping shit. And then he was like, you need a name, you need a name that will stick. And like black sand like, is thick. So everybody's like black sand. Like everybody would come to that shit at school. And I was like, okay, this shit's really working. Like black sand was a name. So that's how that's where I got my name from. What what do you like to do to get through creative block? Okay. When I have a creative block, I, that just means that I'm just like in my head too much, and I'm like don't really have any direction. I don't like know what I'm doing. So I usually go outside, or I like listen to my favorite albums over again and try to get something from those artists or like something from people that I've never gotten. And when I go outside, I usually experience different things. And when I experience different things, I get inspired. Like even if I go to a different place to eat or I go like meet some new people, like it inspires me in a certain way. So like just go outside if you have a creative block. That's like my advice. So it's like the last place that you went to where you got inspired and it translated into you writing a new song or recording? The shit. What was the last what was the last shit I just wrote about? I mean like I write it like I go to this place called the alley and it's like you get like hella cool clothes and shit from there. It's like kinda like a swap meet type of thing in downtown. And like that inspired me just like being on the trip and like on the train and just walking through there and seeing all the people and, see, and getting all the energy. Cause like it, it's like crazy cause I, I forget that humans exist sometimes. I'd be in my head so much. <laughs> <laughs> so I get inspired by that. It's by like little shit like that. Like even if I like see somebody, like sometimes I see like a really cool person on the train and like that will just remind me of some of this certain artist and I listen to that artist and then like I get inspired by that. It's like this little shit. Yeah. Would you ever start a punk band or any genre band? Yeah, I would. Like the only reason why like I don't do a band is because I've tried that like hella times. Like I've been in the a jazz band, I've been in a, like a kind of a rock band and I've been in orchestra and I've been in all these t different types of groups and like they like never last. Like people like get in their feelings too much about like who gets this and who gets that. Like I don't really care, like I, I care about the music and shit, but like I was like, I just decided one day that I wanted to be like my own one man band. Like I wanted to be my own vocalist and then I do all the music behind me. So. That's like why I produce and like rap them all and shit. Cause it's like, I've always wanted to be in a band, but I never was able to find people that like connected to me or was on the same wave musically. So I just, I'm just like, okay, I'll just be a band with myself. So what like instruments were you playing when you were in all those bands? Or so, so I, I played multiple instruments. Like 
I my first instrument was guitar, and then like I was seven years old, and when I was like ten, I learned drums and cello, and I played cello until I was like seventeen, and then I played drums, and then I played bass, and I played keyboards. So I play like a lot of instruments. Like I've always played, been into music before I even rapped or produced. I was always just playing in bands or getting guitar lessons or like playing an orchestra and doing shows like that before I like got into like the scene or whatever. So how did you learn how to play all those instruments? Well, I got private, uh, I got private lessons for guitar and drums. And then I went to a school called Renaissance Arts Academy. And the, you either get a, you either dance or you play an instrument and you get to play a string instrument such as violin, viola, cello, or bass. And I wanted to play the bass originally, but my car wasn't big enough, so I had to play the cello. And I was like, okay, this shit should be cool. And I was like, got really interested in like, just practicing and just like, learning how to play. Like, it was like really like, I don't know, a spiritual experience, like learning an instrument. Like, it's crazy. Like, I like, felt like a connection between me and the instrument because I spent so much time with it. It was like an interesting feeling, like, you know what I mean? So. I've always played hella instruments and shit. And I was like, had lessons and I played in an orchestra. And I played in, a, um, in a, like an orchestra outside of my school. It was called Inner City Youth Orchestra. And I played at like Disney Hall and like played at like in deep Washington DC a couple of times. So like we actually like was doing shit. So it was like, it was cool, like cool opportunities. And that's, but that's after that, like I got tired of playing in orchestra and I was like, this shit ain't getting me nowhere. Like, and it, I really wasn't getting paid for none of that shit. And I was like, I, like, I want to start really doing this, like producing and rapping shit. So that's when I kind of ditched all that and start focusing on that more. Yeah. How long is your beautiful ass hair? I don't know. It's probably like, it go past my nipples. So probably like seven inches i don't know something like that it's it's not like crazy long yet i like want to grow until it's onto the floor like i want to grow my hair forever as long as i can grow so i'm just letting it just grow all the way out because I don't, I don't ever want to cut my shit off ever until i start having a receding hairline how long have you had the long hair i well um when i was like a little kid i always had like kind of like an afro and shit and then like when i was in sixth grade my dad made me get a fade Cause it was like boys don't fucking don't have long hair, some fucking hyper masculine st sh bullshit, and like I um I was tired of the bald head. I was like I, I don't like my fuck I don't like my bald head. I was like I have I have beautiful ass hair. Why don't I have hair? So I'd like start doing like kind of like the curly on the top shit with the shit on the sides, and it was like I did that, and then like everybody started doing that, and I was like you know what fuck it I'm gonna grow out my hair. Like I was like I want really long just like curly ass hair because I was like just seeing like bitches and like sh and like people with long hair I was like I'm jealous I want that and then I was just like four years ago and just did the big chop and then my mom was like you gotta put you gotta wash it every other day you gotta put oil in your scalp and all this shit like, and I like did that and so I've been growing out my hair for like four years now so it's pretty cool what is your favorite album that you released so far oh shit oh I mean I don't think I could say that I have a favorite album that I've ever released because, like, I like everything, like, certain things about everything that I've dropped. Like, everything is, like, it was, like, kind of like a, a learning experience, every project I've dropped. Like, I, like, got better at things. So, like, I like that. Some So on certain projects, I focus on certain things that I like. So I can go to certain projects, and I'm like, oh, I focus more on, like, the, the flows or... I go to certain project. I'm like, oh, I, I focus on using this type of production, or I use this type of mixing, or I like certain. I do certain things on certain tapes because I'm in certain moods. Because I make music because of my mood, so it's like I like everything that I've dropped. You know what I mean? So I can't really say I have a favorite thing that I've dropped. Yeah. How did you meet Gizmo, and what's your favorite song you've done together? Um, I met Gizmo just on Twitter. And through Perhibio, cause just some Twitter shit. And then my my local homies in Oakland knew him. So I just was like, I got to see, I don't know who followed. I think I followed him or he followed me or some shit. I don't really remember cause this was a minute ago. And then I was like, oh, let's make some music and shit. But he was kind of not fucking with me at that time. So I was like, all right, bet. Cause I was really fucking with him. 
but then after a while like we start kind of fuck with each other like like dim each other like whatever talking and then he moved out here like i was there like september last year and then like october is like when we start getting in the studio and then we made that song like carnage and then it was dope and i because like we kind of make kind of both are on the same shit like with the screaming whatever like trap trap metal shit so like we did a, that carnage song and then we was like oh we should do an ep and then we ended up doing the ep and that shit was actually dope so like we were just like okay like this is like a little like duo type thing because like we actually made like good music together and then like ever since then we gotten closer and this have been working and shit so yeah, that's how we met and then my favorite song that we made i would say like hammer time that shit's hard it's on my new tape Lil grand season you need to go peep that if you haven't yo go in a depth go in depth in depth more with your origin and reason for why you started and what things you've learned so far okay <sighs> why i started that's a that's a good question reason why i started was because i just was like i just was really interested in this shit like i felt like i gave more of a fuck about music than a lot of people like i'll have conversations about music with my parents or like my brother and like they'll be like why are you like so like they'll kind of look at me weird because i'll be so nerdy and so like like on wikipedia like watching hella interviews like, i've always been interested in artists because i feel like i've been an individual my whole life and i haven't and i've not really liked anybody so uh, i related to those people that were weird and the artists that were like that felt like they because like the same shit that I was going through in high school or I was going through through school, they were they went through. So I was like, okay, they were called weird and they were called this, so because but they ended up like that. So I was like, that gives me hope that I'm not just gonna be stuck. I don't have to be like a lame ass fucking like jock or a lame ass like person. I can like be an individual and like do me and like get money and and get all this stuff. But I really wanna just work on being an artist and like being the best artist that I could be. And that's just been my goal my whole life, ever since I was seven years old. Cause I saw Jimi Hendrix and I was like, damn, he's like a fucking God. Like, and he was like weird. I, I felt weird like him. We like, we're into the same shit. Like we like white music and all this type of shit. I like rock, I like metal. And he was into the same shit. So I really related to him. So that's why I really started because I wanted to be an individual. So yeah. And then what have I learned? <laughs> shit, I learned a lot of stuff doing doing this music shit. I'm just, all I all I gotta say is like, just be careful of people because like, you just gotta really watch who you really be around. Like, everybody doesn't have your best interest, and everybody doesn't really care about you. You really gotta like, like find some people that really care about you, and will push you, and are have goals in their life, and and are doing shit. Because if you're around a bunch of people that aren't doing shit and you're the best person in your and your crew and, and doing your shit, then then it's not like you're not doing anything. You need to be around people that are trying to like get to where you are or are ahead of you already. Because that's just how you're gonna succeed and do what you wanna do. So yeah. Just be careful of people and just be original. Don't don't feel like you have to copy a big artist to get on it doesn't you, you don't have to do that just be yourself like all these niggas and all these people like that are copying all these artists and like doing it like like uh, like, uh, like obviously copy other people it's, it's annoying and it's, and it's annoying <laughs> like everybody's tired of it so just make your own music and try to be yourself because like you never know what will happen you might be the new Kanye you might be the new you know what I mean just being just playing out being yourself you know you never know what happens how was the transition from producer to rapper? Okay. The transition from producer to rapper, I mean, it really wasn't that crazy because I've always been rapping my whole life and I've always toyed around with rapping. So it's like, I didn't, it really wasn't a transition. It just was me getting better at rapping and taking it more seriously. I really wasn't, I didn't take it that serious at first. When I was first doing it, I was like, okay, like, I don't, I didn't really know what to, I didn't know like, what shit was or what anything really meant. I was just like focused on just it sounding good. Or, but like, I really start, like two years ago, I started to kind of get more into it. And I started to really like pay attention to like how rappers, like 
express themselves through words and like through flows and like how songs are supposed to be structured and shit like that. So I guess you could say like two years ago was like the transition from me being a producer to a rapper. Like just me trying to learn all that shit and just me like paying attention and me like um, fucking just trying actually and not just like saying like she's sucking my dick and I'm sucking her tit. Like I was like, I gotta say some shit that actually be so, you know what I mean? So yeah, that was a transition. And then explain why you only use your own beats because I feel like I can make what, exactly what I want. Like, I, I can't be fooling around with producers and fooling around with people. Like, I know what I want to hear and I know what my voice sounds good on, so why wouldn't I make my own beats? <laughs> What's up with your hair? Is it hard to take care of? Um, I mean, at first it was hard to take care of. Like, I had to fucking, like, get in the habit of washing it because, like, I really wasn't fucking, like, one trying to wash it. I was being, like, a lazy ass person and it was just like and then like I would like look at my hair it like disgusting and clumpy and greasy and I was like oh shit I really gotta wash it so I just had to stop being a lazy asshole and <laughs> just get you know what I mean and that's motherfucking clean shit but like it's not really that hard no more because it's like you just gotta be clean I got, all I gotta do is just like braid it and wash it every other day and I'll be fine and then there's you know what I mean just put oil in my shit and that's how I take care of it and then where's my old music all my old music is on Bandcamp. Like all that old shit that I dropped in 2015 and all the shit that that y'all be asking me for, it's on Bandcamp. You can look it up. Blacksand.bandcamp.com. All the old shit's on there. When why did you start rapping and what what is the ultimate goal for you in life? I started rapping because like I felt like I had a I, I had a different view on shit and I feel like I have a voice that people could like that people could listen to you know what I mean because I feel like I've stood up for people like growing up and I've like not I'm just the type of person that doesn't take bullshit or the type of person that doesn't really care of my consequences for what I say or what I feel because it's what I feel and I feel like that's what lacks in society is that people don't do what they feel they do what other people tell them to do so I feel like I'm different because I do what I want to do and I do what I feel. That's not necessarily good all the time, because sometimes what I feel isn't good, but like, at least I'm being authentic to myself and not trying to be, please other people. So I feel like that's why I started rapping. I was like, okay, I'm interesting. And people always say that I'm weird and I'm like cool and like, I'm like myself. And like, I was like, always oh, kind of like the joke funny. People thought I was funny and shit. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just be like, I'm gonna be a rapper, like why not? And I was always into rap. Like, I like Waka Flocka, uh, I like Wayne, I like fucking, my dad fucking showed me rap when I was like a little kid. I was into like, he was into Wu-Tang and like all that boom bap shit. So I've always been listening to rap my whole damn life. So I was like, I don't know. So I feel like it's just shit's just meant for me. Like this is what I'm supposed to do. So this is my purpose. And then my ultimate goal in life, my ultimate goal in life is just to be the biggest artist that I could possibly be. Just work as hard as I can and just be the biggest artist possible. Maybe I might be Beyonce level, maybe I, be, I might be Kanye level, you never know. But I'm just trying to work as hard as I can and just keep on having a clear mind and make sure that I have a passion for this shit. And then when I have fucking millions of dollars and I have kids and shit, I might retire. But I don't feel like I'll ever retire because, like, I like this shit. Like, I, this shit is not no business. This shit not no money. Like, I'll wake up and make music no matter what. So I don't think I'll ever stop making music. So.